Warning for you, this next story, it may be hard for you to hear, so we want to give you a moment to turn down the sound on your TV if you would like. A woman calls 911 telling the operator that her son is outside of her bedroom door with a knife and then he appears to kill her during the call. Yeah, this happened early Sunday morning in North College Hill. That is where David Winter is standing by. David joins us live and David, you said police really aren't saying much about the investigation. No, police are not saying much at all, Adam, but after listening to that horrific 911 call earlier and after speaking with a witness earlier this afternoon, a lot of the blanks are getting filled in. 24-year-old Tante Farley appears in court this morning accused of stabbing to death his mother. Court documents show he stabbed Vanessa Quarles multiple times with a white-handled kitchen knife while she was in bed. Local 12 obtained the chilling early morning 911 call. What you're about to hear is moments before Farley allegedly broke down his mother's bedroom door. You can hear the fear in her voice. Yes, he has mental illness. How, oh, he has mental illness? He How old is he? Again. 24, are you trying to get him out the door now? He has a knife. Ma'am, ma'am, take a deep breath for me. Don't yes. unlock your front yes. door. I'm getting him dispatched out that way. A minute later, you can hear Ms. Quarles yell, he just broke in my door, and then she screams. We're not broadcasting this part or the three and a half minutes following where you can hear the man repeatedly swearing at the woman during what sounds like a brutal attack. Inside the building where the bloody murder occurred, a single red rose leans against Vanessa Quarles' door. A few feet away, a neighbor describes to us what she saw officers. and heard. I looked through the peak hole and I could see the police officers standing there and they were yelling, police, open the door. And then when nobody responded, that's when they decided to kick the door in. Ilana Blackwell says she did not hear the scream. She only awoke when police arrived. The young man, he stepped out of the apartment and they asked if it was anyone else in the um, unit. And he stated, yes, his mother was up in there. And they asked if she was OK, if she could come out. And that's when he stated no. But then Ms. Blackwell says the conversation became odd. He had asked if he could put shorts on his mom and they told him no. And then he asked if he could give his mom another hug and they told him no. He asked the police officer if he could get a hug from him and the police officer asked him, well, why? He said because he had just killed his mom. And so that's when it looked like the police officer gave him a hug. Police did not confirm whether the officer did in fact hug Farley. Ilana says she had just seen Ms. Quarles last week. It's just sad, scary, but sad because it was his mom, you know, and it's right before the holiday. Well, Ms. Quarles said during that 911 call that her son has schizophrenia. He's being held on a $1 million bond. Reporting live from North College Hill, David Winter, back to you in the studio. Just chilling details, David. All right, thank you for that update. Farley is due back in court next Wednesday.